200 years ago to the day. Two brothers, Jean-Pierre and Jean-Frédéric Peugeot got together and decided to turn a corn mill into a steel mill and Peugeot was born. If they were still alive today, they'd be amazed at the variety of products that their company produces. It's not just cars like this beautiful 402B Legere, but they also make bikes, scooters, whisks, coffee grinders, and I bet you didn't know that the world's best chefs swear by Peugeot pepper grinders. You don't survive for 200 years without being an innovator, which is why Peugeot has had loads of world firsts over the years, including this, it's called the 201, and it's the first production car ever to feature independent front suspension. And so far on our little ride here, it's actually proved quite comfortable. It's also the first car to introduce the Peugeot numbering system, 201. The two stands for the family of cars that it comes from, and the one stands for the generation. Diesel engines have had a massive surge in interest in the last 20 years, but it all began here with the Peugeot 403 way back in 1959. It's the world's first production diesel car, and it was an instant hit for Peugeot. It was the first model they ever sold over a million units of. Visit any modern motor show and you'll be forgiven for thinking that electric cars were a modern phenomenon, but Peugeot are making them as far back as 1941. It's called the VLN and it looks like this. Two seats, a three-wheeler arrangement, and it could do 45 miles on a single charge of its four 12-volt batteries. I bet you thought folding hardtops were a modern invention as well, didn't you? Well, no. Peugeot got there first again, first with the 401 Eclipse back in 1935, and then with this, the 402 Eclipse in 1937. Of course, more recently, it's the 206cc that brought the technology to the masses. Peugeot sold over 700,000 of those, making it the undisputed king of coupe cabriolets. So, 200 years of rich history, but Peugeot isn't resting on its laurels. Earlier this year it announced that in the next two years it's going to introduce 14 new models and with cars like the SR1 Concept and the gorgeous RCZ it's trying to reclaim its reputation for beautiful design. If I had to choose a favourite model from the last 200 years it would have to be this, the 205 GTI. But that's beside the point. Let's just hope that the next 200 years are as innovative and varied as the last.